Welcome. This is Dr. Amanda Rackinson Zapku, and in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to write a results section in a word processing program for a two way ANOVA using the SPSS output and the conclusions that we made in previous tutorials. Here you can see I have a word processing program opened with an example two way ANOVA results section. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different components of this written results section. You'll notice that I begin by stating the type of analysis that was completed, as well as the null hypotheses that were tested. I state a two-way analysis of variance, or ANOVA, was conducted to evaluate the following null hypotheses. The interaction null hypothesis is stated, the gender main effect, as well as the program type main effect null hypotheses are stated. You will note that these are a little varied from the ones that we wrote in the first tutorial, but there are multiple ways to write null hypotheses. This is one way. The example in the first tutorial is another. Next, you'll note that the descriptive statistics are reported. They're reported in ta tabular format. As I noted, I think sometimes it's easier to read about or comprehend descriptive statistics when they're put in a tabular format. And as you'll notice, it's an APA formatted table and the descriptive statistics for the dependent variable sense of community are disaggregated by the independent variable. Next, prior to conducting the two-way ANOVA, remember we conducted assumption testing. And really a results section tells a story about what was done and what was found. So we next inform the reader that assumption testing was completed prior to conducting the two-way ANOVA. We discussed the assumption of normality and how it was evaluated using histograms and Shapiro, the Shapiro-Wilkes test. And we discussed what results we found. We found that normality was not demonstrated for any of the groups. However, we note that we continued with the two-way ANOVA here because an ANOVA is reasonably robust, according to Warner, as well as Tabaknik and Fidel, though Tabaknik and Fidel isn't mentioned here, when group sizes are similar. And if we go back up to the descriptive statistics table, we'll note that our group sizes are fairly sim similar. Next, we move on and we talk about the box plots and extreme outliers. We note that with the traditional group here, the, the box plots for cases 29, 21, and 36, um, or the box plots demonstrated for those cases that there were outliers, however, they were not extreme, and then we found no extreme outliers for any of the other groups, the males, the females, or the online group. Next, we have the assumption of homogeneity of variance, which we tested using the Levine's test, and we found this to be this assumption to be tenable based on these results from the Levine's test. We can now move on and discuss the results for the actual two-way ANOVA. Remember, we tested the interaction effect first, and based on these results here that we um, that we gathered from the SPSS output, we made the conclusion that we did not have significant evidence to reject the null hypothesis and found no statistically significant interaction effect. Therefore, using the original model um, in which the interaction was maintained, the main effects were evaluated. We're, we're, telling, we're telling the readers that we used the original model, not the reduced model. And then we discussed the results for the gender main effect, which we found to be insignificant based on these results. And we conclude that males and females did not statistically significantly differ in their sense of community. However, the results for the type of program or program type main effect was significant based on the statistics that SPSS outputted for us. So we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there was a difference. Now we go on to interpret the effect size and that the interpretation is the type of program accounted for 28.9% of the variance for the sense of community. We noted that our power was strong at 0.99, which indicates that um, with 99% accuracy or that our results were 99% accurate um, for the program type main effect or type of program main effect. And then we note that there was a significant difference and that it was the online students um, who scored higher than the traditional students. And here, here you can see that I, the main difference, this conclusion was based on the main 
or the mean difference that we found, um, the standard error as well as the significance level. Now, this is all we need to report for the results or for the data that we looked at in the different tutorials. However, if our, let's say, type of program variable, independent variable, had more than two groups, it had online, traditional, and blended, we would go on and discuss the post hoc tests. Now, um, we would use something like um, Tukey's to evaluate the pairwise differences among the three different groups to find out where the differences are because our homogeneity of variance assumption was not violated. We might use a different post hoc test if that assumption had been violated. And here is just an example of how post hoc uh, t tests could be reported. This is just one example. There are multiple ways to report it. So this concludes the tutorial on how to write a statistical results section for a two-way ANOVA.